I've been teaching Aikido for 20 years. At the beginning of every class, we bow in and we do a series of warm-up exercises. That softens and opens the body so that we can use the expansive energy that we'll be working with in the basic handwork and basic techniques. And we build up to a very aerobic level of working out. Get a good sweat, a lot of breathing. You have to move everything from the hips, whether it's up, down, sideways, around the circle. The whole body's moving as one unit. I enjoy teaching children because they have so much pure energy. And we focus on a series of basic techniques, coordination and neuromuscular development. I find that teaching children, especially, they are not competitive in a destructive way. They're competitive naturally in a very healthy way. They will try to beat each other across the mat. But if one of them falls down, they all stop and help each other up. They don't want to see each other get hurt. At this dojo, we train people to be martial artists more than we train them to be black belts. Anybody can come in here and learn a series of techniques from beginning to end and get a black belt. But as a martial artist, the process is multi-level and very deep. The techniques don't change all that much. We just like to see improvement from one level to the next. What makes Aikido different than most other martial arts is the physics of the movement. It's um, circles and spirals. Uh, it's, not, it's not linear at all. physically fit, you get very strong, and by strong I don't mean muscular strength. You tap into body power. And now, with this open and all the muscles relaxed, the energy can naturally flow the way it is. The energy is always coming in and going out of the body. But if I was to tense myself, I would stop that process. And that's what we do on a very physical level. We take the person's aggressive energy or any kind of attack, we take it to ourselves, and we change its focus. You get off the line of the things that make you feel uncomfortable during the course of any given day. You can let them go by because you now have the strength and the courage and the fortitude and the insightfulness to know what is happening. And that happens naturally just by putting your body physically through the movements of Aikido. A true martial artist has to do with compassion and generosity understanding. True martial arts really has nothing to do with fighting. It has to do with ending fighting. And you end fighting as a martial artist by living your life um, as a peacemaker. 
And it's a lot easier to be a warlike person or a competitive person or a destructive person than it is to be a life enhancing person. After I took my first class of Aikido some 25 years ago, I said to myself, ah, this is what I want to do. I want to teach this. And that shifted my life in a way that I sought out the best teachers I could find and I'm on a path to try to become the best teacher I can be.